Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is an interactive video presentation from group and the title is Padua Inventory, Washington State University Division, PIWSUR. So, let's begin. These are the contents that will be discussed in this video. The original of Padua Inventory was developed by Ezio Sanavio in 1998 at Padua, Italy and it contains 60 items that are categorized into 4 subscales. It has been translated into various versions. However, according to study by Frister 1994, it showed that the PI measures worry in addition to obsessions, thus to solve this problem and to improve OCD content specificity in the original PI, Burns 1996 developed the PI WSUR with a non-clinical sample. The PIWSUR assessment was developed by Burns, Koch, Formia, and Sternberger in 1996 at USA. It contains 39 items categorized into 5 subscales and has been translated into German, Turkish, Iranian, Spanish, and Persian. The purpose of this assessment are to assess the most important types of obsessive compulsive symptoms including intrusive talks and rumination and to measure the obsessions and compulsions. PIWSUR is a self-reported assessment. The components that are being assessed are contamination obsession and washing compulsions, dressing or grooming compulsions, checking compulsions, obsessive thoughts about harm to self or others, and obsessive impulse to harm self or others. Target population is patients with symptoms of obsessive compulsive disorder and anxiety and or depression. The contraindication for this assessment is patient with neurological disorder, psychotic disorder, bipolar disorder, or alcohol or substance dependence. For the understanding, let us watch a video of demonstration of the techniques. minutes to administer and 5 minutes to score. The patient needs to choose the reply which best seems to fit her and the degree of disturbance which such talks or behaviors may create. The scoring procedure is just total up all the 39 items and the score is ranged between 0 to 159. 
The interpretation is high score indicate greater severity of obsessive compulsive symptoms and high score in subscale indicate high tendency of symptoms in the subscale. For the psychometric properties, this assessment has a good concurrent validity, it test retest reliability was good, and the internal consistency reliability was excellent. Advantages of the assessment, it has a good reliability among OCD and control individuals. The assessment are the most widely used in obsessive compulsive symptoms for clinical and research settings, and it is easily to administer and has been translated into many versions. However, the assessment has insufficient evidence to confirm concurrent validity in diagnosing OCD, it has unspecific wordings of items like ruminations and worries, and has lower sensitivity to major treatment outcome compared to other versions. Thank you!